to another awesome outdoor activity. Let's check out Phil as he motors down the open road with a little help from some friends. When it comes to experiencing the beauty of the Georgia mountains, you can raft, you can hike, you can even drive. Or my new favorite, motorcycling. <laughs> There's no doubt that hitting the open road is fun, but when it comes to motorcycles, safety should come first. That's why I enrolled in the state's motorcycle safety program basic rider course, or BRC. If you want to learn how to ride a motorcycle safely and responsibly, the 15-hour BRC is the place to start. There's approximately eight hours of classroom time and seven hours of on-cycle instruction. So that tells us that operating a motorcycle is pretty near four times as, as brain-consuming as driving a car. My course was taught at Road Atlanta, but classes are offered across the state. Georgia's Department of Driver Services has more information on their website. Okay, no problem. Look, Ma. <laughs> I made it! I'm on top of the world. <laughs> now that I got my license, it's time to motor. That's what brings us here to Clayton, Georgia in Rayburn County for our Raven Gap Ramble. I brought some friends along. Come on, I want you to meet them. First, there's my longtime buddy, Big Harold Clopton, riding a Honda Goldwing. Marlon Boxstra, one of my instructors, joins this ride as a private citizen riding a 2007 Ducati Hyper Motard. Also on this ride as a private citizen is my instructor, Roger Wiles. He's on his 1968 BMW R69 US. And Norma Wiles, his wife, she heard there was going to be a ride and came on over on her 750 Moto Guzzi Breva. Another one of my good friends, Daddy Ron Ross. Now he's on his 1996 Harley Davidson Electroglide Classic. He'll be riding two up today with my lovely and beautiful wife, Kim. And last but certainly not least, my new bud, Bill Jones. That's him on the 2006 Harley Davidson Ultra Classic with the sidecar. He'll be toting my man, Dan, to get some great video. I think it's time we got rolling. All right, we're gonna begin our ride right here in Clayton. We're gonna head north on Highway 441. Are you ready? Let's ride. US 441 is a spur route of US Highway 41. It runs for 939 miles from Lake City, Tennessee to Miami, Florida. It goes right through Rabin County, so what better way to ramble? Now you might have noticed that we gained a rider. Marlon's friend Carl Snell caught up with us in Clayton. He's riding the yellow R1200 GS BMW. You know, motorcycling is, is actually something that, that it can be done all by yourself. Um, your, your decisions and your, your uh, direction is entirely up to you. Um, it's, it's not anything, a lot of people do it as a group sport, but you know it's, it's a group sport of individuals. The first thing I guess all bikers talk about is the freedom. Everything you do, every aspect of your body, every movement has a reaction to the motorcycle and riding. There's something about just you and that motorcycle, like the Cowboys experienced, you know, the last great independent American are the motorcycle riders. You get out on your horse in the desert someplace and it was just you and it, and you could commune and your life was good. And it's the same thing with a motorcycle. Well, it's not for everybody, but handicapped people can ride too. It's something, if you want to do it, you can, uh, you can find a way. I have an easy pull clutch, which uh, Harley come out with uh, sometime in the early, early 90s. I ride with a clutch and a gas on the same hand. I've got cerebral palsy, and the clutch and the gas is on the right, and I ride with a brake on the left. It enables me to ride a motorcycle, and I've been riding that way ever since uh, 72. It's one of the few things I can do where I'm, I can achieve a, a, a sort of a zone-like existence. You know, I can really uh, become one with the bike and, uh, and just enjoy the curves and, uh, and uh, have a great time riding the motorcycle, just the, the whole physical experience of it. Um, the other side of it is, uh, is the, the people that I've met, you know, uh, we, we, uh, we all come from different walks of life, but it's, uh, it's a brotherhood, a sisterhood, it's just, it's awesome. There's no way that uh, I've ever belonged to anything else that has brought me so close to so many different people. Roger and I met 
uh, through our mutual love of motorcycling. The best thing about motorcycling is the freedom that I feel. Um, it makes you one with the grass, the trees, the earth, it's just everything. Well, there's a t-shirt that says, if I have to explain, you wouldn't understand. Um, so I probably won't try real hard to, to explain other than I've done it all my life. It's part of who I am. Um, I enjoy it. A bad day on a motorcycle is still better than a good day working, and it's, it's what I do. Up here in the mountains, there are curvier, more challenging routes. But for now, I'll leave that to the more experienced riders. Bill did well. I, I didn't really see him all that much, uh, but uh, those occasions when I did see him, I saw him turning corners and turning his chin, and uh, he looked like he was in, in full control, and what he needs to do is get out there and ride more. My favorite part was actually watching Phil for the first time. For the very first time, to get a chance to watch and see that he really do know how to ride now. I'm really, really pleased. I'm proud of him. I really, he's, he's doing a real good job. I'm looking forward to getting out on the road with him more often. And I'm looking forward to it as well. I want to thank all my friends that rode with me on this trip. No matter what mode of transportation you use, I hope you have a chance to ramble through Rayburn County sometime soon. Now, while I continue the journey through